concentration of Carl Lewis as he attempts the third leg of his historic treble here. Just collecting his thoughts. He's already won the long jump with that first round jump. He did take one other, but uh, although it was a very long jump, not in excess of the one we've just seen. The full line up there, he's got all the opposition outside him. Larry Myricks in lane six, who came fourth in the long jump, so he's got to do well in this to get to Helsinki. Elliot Quow, who a lot of people have uh, expected to get to Helsinki in the American team, and then Calvin Smith in lane eight. Lewis away with the pack. Already beginning to pick up on the men outside him now, but Larry Myricks running very well. Myricks it is in lane six, but here now comes Lewis. Lewis takes the lead, there goes those high arms, pumping away, now a stretch away from the field now, this is the strong part of his race, so strong in fact he puts his arms up, and look at that time, 19.75, if that's confirmed it's just a fraction outside of Manea's world record, 19.72, set by Petro Manea, the Italian at altitude, but that surely is the fastest time Adrian ever set at sea level. He seems to have completed a unique treble where he's the greatest performer at sea level at 100 long jump and now at, at 200 metres. And I never expected to see him run a 200 like this. And this is running faster than Tommy Smith did in 1968 to win the Olympics. And a similar performance. God knows what he'll do if he ever runs the 400 metres. Long stride, about 10 foot stride length. And there's a lot of very classy people behind him there. Myrix is now running himself into the world all-time top 10, I should think. James Butler, who led the world rankings a couple of years ago at 200. And here go the arms up, and we worked out this must be something like 15 yards back from the line, and that certainly could have cost him the world record because the braking effect, of course, is substantial. The time actually confirmed at 19.75, a US record, a championship record, track record, the second fastest time ever run. Larry Myrick second, 20.03, makes him the seventh fastest ever at this event, the 200 metres. And Calvin Smith third, 20.13, and the wind well within the allowable limit. It's now with Alan Pasco to reflect on that extraordinary triumph. Carl, three super performances. You're now surrounded by all your new fans. Which of those performances gave you the most pleasure? I have to say the 200 metres because it's an event that I don't train for at much, other than this year, which I did train very hard for it. And it's an event that I've only run second time this year in the sixth time world-class competition. So to set an American record under those conditions is exceedingly pleasing. You were looking around and smiling at some of the other competitors. Was that a psychological warfare with them, or is it just uh, you relaxing? Well, me relaxing. I'm an athlete that competes, competes under times, performances. I knew I ran an excellent race. I was pleased with myself, so I only show my emotions. After such a good opening long jump, was there any temptation to take all six jumps and try and break the world record? Well, there was no temptation because I feel that if I can open up that way here, I can open up that way anywhere. And I did owe myself one more long jump, and that was why I took the second jump. But after that, I felt that I missed a chance if I had to set a world record, so I just wanted to wait for the 200. Looking forward now, what's going to give you more pleasure, breaking world records or getting gold medals at the World Championships and the Olympic Games? Well, I'd have to say getting gold medals or breaking records are all equal because the main thing for me is goals, and both of those are part of my goals. And that's, that's something I think will be the best thing, they're each equal. You're now obviously a great big superstar. Is that going to be easy to live with? Um, yeah, it's easy to live with because I don't have anyone to go home to to talk to except my dog, and she's still a superstar in my life. <laughs>